hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b divided by 7 is equals to minus b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method we need to move this 7 to the right hand side and you see that this is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by b and it will become here b is equals to minus b is multiplied by 7 and uh, this implies that we have b is equals to this is minus b multiplied by 7 becomes here minus 7b and further in the next step we need to move this minus 7b from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become here b plus 7b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here <clears throat> these are the two same variable terms so in order to add both of these two values we need to add the coefficients of these two equations and its coefficients are its coefficient is 1 and its coefficient is 7 so when we add both of these two coefficients we will get here a times of b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to remove this 8 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 8 and when we divide by 8 it will be written as in this form so further we have in the next step this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we get here b is equals to this is 0 divided by 8 and 0 divided by 8 becomes here 0 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here uh, we have we just get only one root of the given equation and that is b is equals to 0 and in the next step we need to verify that is this value of b is satisfied our given question statement or not or in other words we just verify that is this value of b uh, be the solution or extraneous root so for this we just substitute this value of b is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation and it will be written as when you put it here it will become 0 divided by 7 is equals to minus times of 0 and here we know about that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always equals to 0 so 0 divided by 7 becomes 0 and minus multiplied by 0 is also becomes here 0 so we will obtain here 0 equals to 0 and uh, you see here both of the sides are equal it means that when we choose b equals to 0 it is satisfied our given question statement uh, so it means that uh, b is equals to 0 be the solution set of the given equation and we have only one solution that is the trivial solution of the given equation so this is the final conclusion about uh, this question uh, of first method and now here we need to move towards our second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is b divided by 7 is equals to minus b so this is the given question statement and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in this method uh, we choose another technique uh, so here we move minus b from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes b divided by 7 and plus b is equals to 0 so here we just use the lcm technique to uh, find the roots of this equation and for this you see here the denominator of this term is 7 and the denominator of this term is 1 so we need to make the denominator of both of these two values are same so for this we multiply and divide this term by 7 and it will become here 7b divided by 7 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here the denominator of both of these two terms are same so it means that we easily take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes here 7 so when we divide this term by this you get here b only and when we divide this term by this we get here 7b 
and this whole equation is equals to 0. And in the next step, you see here, we need to move this 7 to the right hand side. It is divided by here. When we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by 7. And here we have b plus 7b becomes here 8b is equals to this is 0 multiplied by 7. And from here, this implies that we get uh, this is 8b is equals to 0. And here uh, for uh, the values of b, we need to divide both of the sides by 8 in order to remove this 8 from left hand side and this is cancelled out by this one. And this implies that we have b is equals to 0 divided by 8 becomes here 0. So this is the only one value of b which we get here in the second method and that is the same value of b which we get here from first method. And in the first method, we already verify that this value of b is satisfied our given question statement. So here finally we have the solution set of this question is b is equals to 0. This is the, our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.